dangerous, deadly, and record-breaking weekend temperatures. Into that heat right now. I'm in New York City on a hot summer day. It's also so humid that you start sweating basically as soon as you go outside. And the National Weather Service issued a heat advisory for today because the heat index is going to be 105. The oppressive heat wave also one of the most dangerous. And that's the number the heat index that could eventually mean we are watching the Summer Olympics in the winter. When you check the weather app on your phone, you probably just look at the temperature. But during the summer, there's actually a different number, a more important number that you should be paying attention to. And that's because most years, it kills more people than tornadoes, hurricanes, or floods and it's only getting worse. We've mm -hmm. never, ever, 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 we haven't had this kind of heat. I mean, consider what just happened. Hundreds of people dead in heat waves hitting both coasts at once. It is so hot, roads are buckling. Seattle and Portland set all time record highs and then broke those records the very next day. Oh, and don't forget about the heat index. If you take the temperature and then factor in the humidity, you get the heat index or the feels like temperature. That's Steve McLaughlin, meteorologist at NBC Miami. So he knows what it's like to sweat. When you start to build up sweat, it means that you are condensing moisture at a faster rate than you're evaporating it because there's too much moisture in the air. So when you add humidity, your body thinks it's a lot warmer than it is and it's a lot harder to stay cool. That's why heat waves turn dangerous or deadly for people who are old, sick, or work outside. So the same applies to exercise, sports, which is why there's so much concern around the Tokyo Olympics. NCAA champ Talia Brooks fainting during the Olympic trials over the weekend. There might be a day, we might already be there, where the best place to have a summer Olympics is a place where 30 years ago was perfect for the Winter Olympics. Now, I bet we're going to see a lot more indoor activities in both the Summer and Winter Olympics. And one is to protect the athletes from heat stroke. The other is to protect the snow from melting. And that's been a problem. The 2010 Winter Games in Vancouver had to truck in snow. 2014 in Sochi, melting snow hurt dozens of skiers. And next year's Winter Olympics in Beijing plan to rely completely on artificial snow. Now, a report from British and Japanese scientists warns climate change could impact the Tokyo Olympics. Athletes are being asked to compete in environments that are becoming too hostile to human physiology, in part because Tokyo is getting hotter three times faster than the world average. Japan is experiencing a record-breaking heat wave. In 2018, 1,000 people died of heat stroke, 22,000 more in the hospital. 2019, a dozen people died in Tokyo. And last summer, Japan tied its all-time record high. JMA has attributed this phenomenon to global warming. So do the summer games move to spring, fall, or midnight? Maybe. The Union of Concerned Scientists predicts that by 20LX, 2060, unchecked climate change creates conditions so extreme that a heat index cannot be measured. Literally off the charts. I mean, think about that. Projections mean Americans will endure an average of three days every summer with off-the-charts heat, with even more of those brutal days forecast for cities like Dallas, Phoenix, Atlanta, D.C., even Chicago. Uh, we just had a crazy high temperature a couple of weeks ago up in the northern plains. The other thing climate change does, it adds more moisture to the air. And when you have more moisture, it feels hotter, but it also means the nighttime low temperature can't drop as much. So we keep breaking these records every morning for warmest low temperature. Which means means the threat of dangerous heat will only increase in summers to come, with Paris and Los Angeles hosting the next two Summer Olympics. Mm -hmm.